Hey, what's up everyone? It's Leo here again, and as you guys might have noticed, I'm not an English speaker, I'm from Brazil, but I'll try my best though to make another video on Rainbow Six Siege. I would like to talk about the shield operators. What do you think about them? Well, when the game was first released, they were my favorite characters. Montaigne, actually, was my first pick. It was so much fun, because I was leading my squad, getting shot, but I survived, because no one by that time knew how to deal with them. And the defenders, they were terrified when they saw a shield. They still have the same ability nowadays, but the thing is, they don't scare anybody though. It's so easy to handle with the shield operators nowadays. They are easily killed by nitro cells, and you don't need to detonate it super close to kill a shield operator. Even from far away, you can easily kill the shield operators due to their low speed. It's hard to run away from the nitro cell, it's actually rare to escape, and even if you do escape, you will probably find another defender with a C4. Almost every defender has access to a nitro cell. If the shield operator survives to one of them, but got damage on the nitro cell explosion, he becomes useless. A few bullets on his arm or legs are enough to kill him. So when you play as a shield, instead of have that feeling of protection and to provide support to your teammates, you feel the opposite. You are the one actually that is about to die at any time. The shield operators are always in disadvantage. When shield operators kill someone, it's because the opponent doesn't have at least an average skill or was distracted by something else. I don't remember the last time I died by a shield operator. Actually, it's been hard to see shield operators in the game, especially on ranked matches. No one wants to be useless. I still like to play with them, but only on casual matches though. Blitz Flash has become almost pointless because you cannot get close enough because the enemy is gonna kill you before that. Enemies flank you or throw a C4. His gun is weak and if you try to aim from medium to long range, you're probably gonna get a headshot. Montaigne, I like him, but he's super slow or he dies on a nitro cell explosion or people just rush and melee him. It's totally frustrating. Fuse, to be honest, is the stronger one due to his gun. It's super strong and has 9 bullets capacity. And the hip fire works really well. When enemies try to close the distance, you can get some kills here and there. So on the Pro League Season 2, I almost didn't see any shield operators. I'm not considering Blackbeard because it's a totally different story. So it's hard to play as a shield operator and the best and probably the only way to play with them right now is being low profile. Advance super slow, try to lure some nitro cell before uh, you push. And your teammates cannot rely on you, but you totally rely on them to survive. If you know your enemies doesn't have a nitro cell, so you can try to reduce the distance and try some hip fire. But if you run out of ammo, you're pretty much dead. And I do not recommend to aim downside, unless the enemy is totally blind, if you're playing as Blitz, or if the enemy is not facing you. Otherwise, you're pretty much also dead. At the end of the day, again, shield operators are in a really bad situation in the game. I think Ubisoft should do something to bring them back to the table. The first thing I would do is nerf the nitro cell, reduce its damage, it would help a lot. Actually, I think Montaigne with the extended shield shouldn't get any damage from the nitro cell. I also like the idea that the nitro cell should have an activation time, that way shield operators would have a time to run away. I also think the hipfire accuracy should be increased or the pistol damage because enemies are rushing towards the shield operators with no fear and it's so hard to counter attack them. I feel like the game needs a few adjustments to balance the shield operators because the way they are now, they don't help the team the way they were supposed to be. What do you think about them? Any idea to improve these guys? Let me know down below at the comment section your thoughts on the shield operators. That's it guys, have a good one! And bye, amigos. Now watch me, Nana. Okay. Now watch
Watch me whip, whip, watch me nay nay.